Are you looking to move to Tucson, Arizona? Not sure where to start. Maybe you're relocating from out of state or maybe you're here in the area, but you are ready to make a move and not sure exactly you're overwhelmed. Well, today I'm gonna take you on a tour to a very popular neighborhood called Sahuarita, Arizona. So this is gonna be a full tour. I'm gonna give you some highlights of Sahuarita. Then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the map of exactly where Sahuarita sits here in Southern Arizona. And then I'm gonna show you around the neighborhoods, three of my favorite neighborhoods, and not only my favorite neighborhoods, but the three most popular neighborhoods where people move here in Sahuarita. Now, I see so many videos of the all the time of people showcasing Rancho Sahuarita, but there is a lot more than just Rancho Sahuarita here. If this is your first time to the channel, I just wanna stop right there and say welcome. My name is Vanessa Paz. I'm a Tucson real estate agent here, and I relocated four years ago from Miami, Florida here to Tucson with my family and my three kids. So I know exactly how that is. So I now focus on relocation. I'm a relocation specialist and I'm here to help you with anything you might need, whether you're trying to move in the next three days, three weeks or 30 days, feel free to call me, text me, email me, drop a comment down below. Let me know where you are in the real estate process and I'll be more than happy to help. Now, other than that, let's go ahead and get started. so right here we have opened the map of tucson so you see tucson right here southern arizona and sahuarita is all the way down here now you're about 20 minutes away from southern tucson so a lot of people do drive to southern tucson and you'll see right here the i-19 so basically tucson has just um one highway which is i-10 and then as you go down south it converts it to the i-19 i-10 starts going into the Vail area and if you see right here, you're getting closer uh, to the international border of Mexico. So if you're relocating, a lot of people are either in the military, which you'll be more towards this area, or you're going down south um, to work as a federal employee for the government here in the Nogales area. Um, and a lot of people that I know, they work at hospitals, they need to go down south to Tucson. So um, they definitely have to do at least a 20 minute drive. So if you see right here, let's just go ahead and take a look at Sahuarita. So it's a pretty nice area. It's number eight in top 10 best communities here in Tucson. And basically you'll see here, it's pretty small, but it has a lot of great neighborhoods. And today we're gonna go over, and I'm gonna show you in person all the different neighborhoods that Sahuarita has to offer. Uh, but it ends all the way down here in Madera Highlands. We have Stonehouse, Quail Creek, which is a retirement community. As you see here, you do have some stores. As you go into Duval, the Duval exit, you're gonna see some of your main stores like Walmart, TJ Maxx, a lot of food in this area. As you keep going up, you're just gonna see there's a lot of neighborhoods everywhere. Um, one of the top communities, Rancho Sahuarita. And you'll see Rancho Sahuarita here is expanding. So this is the newest expansion they're doing. It's right after the Northwest Medical Center for all the people that work in hospitals. This is a hospital right here in the Sahuarita area. You see a fry supermarket right here. And then you have all the older neighborhoods of Rancho Sahuarita. And there are plenty here to choose from. Club Rancho Sahuarita as well. And you keep going up and you just keep on seeing neighborhoods from Rancho Sahuarita. So when you move here to Sahuarita, you're away from the city, but you're only 20 minutes away. So if you wanna be in a quiet area, but at the same time, not be too far away, this is a really good option. Right here, you're gonna see the high school, one of the high schools here, which is Walden Grove. And let's go back down here a little bit. We do have some, some neighborhoods here on the left side as well, but as you can see, it is small, but people absolutely love it. It's very intertwined with Green Valley as well. As you keep going down south, you have one of the top retirement uh, communities here in all the nation, which is Green Valley. So Sahuarita is a place where there's a lot of families within the medium age of in the 30s, 32, around that age, but you're still within a retirement area. Uh, so you do have a really good mixture of the area and you're pretty close to Madera Canyon. As you can see it right here, it's a beautiful place to visit. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right now, there's actually snow there, so it doesn't happen very often, but it's pretty cool to have nice weather here in Sahuarita, and if you want to see some snow, you can just drive up here. Um, as you keep going down south, um, you have Tubac, um, Amado, and Nogales down here. Now, if you go up, 
to southern Tucson. It's not too far away. You're going to see here you're pretty close to a lot of attractions. You have the Saguaro National Park, Tucson Mountain Park, which are absolutely beautiful. If you want to drive up to Mount Lemmon, you're going to see here right up here. It's about, I would say, an hour drive, a um, little more than an hour drive from Sahorita all the way to Mount Lemmon. But you're still, in my opinion, it's still very drivable. Now, let's go ahead and get into town so I can show you the top three neighborhoods that I absolutely love here in Sahuarita that most people move to. So here we have some of the main stores that you can find here in Sahuarita. You have your fry supermarket and all the other things that you need. We have some ethnic foods in the area. Right across the street, we have a car wash. Um, we have all the things that you can think of here in our area. Now, some facts about Sahuarita, we have about 34,000 people living here. Um, you're basically going to see a lot of people in their 30s with smaller children, but we do have um, some retirees in this area too, so you have a great mixture of families with retirees. So this first neighborhood we're going to be looking at is the award-winning master plan called Rancho Sahuarita. Now, if you have a family, if you have kids, if you want an active lifestyle, then look no further than Rancho Sahuarita. You will not find another um, master plan community like this one down south. Um, you're in a great convenient location. So you're about um, 20 minutes from Tucson. You have easy access to I-19. You're in a school award-winning district, which is the Sahuarita Unified School District. You have nine great schools to choose from here in town. You have the hospital five minutes away, um, the Northwest Medical Center, which is great. Parks and trails that you'll see here, they're just absolutely gorgeous. You have 11 parks and over 20 miles of trails. You have a splash park, a splash pad, and pools which are absolutely gorgeous, so fun. I have never seen anything like this around here. Let's talk about events as well. So if you want things to do for you and your family, let me tell you, Rancho Sahuarita hosts more than 220 annual community events. How amazing is that? And you're gonna see anything from Easter egg hunts, holiday events, um, outdoor movies, uh, festivals, and so much more. The other thing I can say too is that they have a premier fitness facility, so you have access to their fitness center, and they have uh, more than 35 free weekly classes, so you have so much to choose from. You have a kids club where if you wanted to drop off your kids there while you're working out or hanging out by the pool, you can do that as well. It's all part of the HOA. Now, some things they do have minimal costs, like when you drop off your kids, it's probably like a three to five dollar charge for the two hours. Um, as of today, for 2024, the HOA fee here is about $121 a month. So it's pretty affordable for all the things you get included here. So the main type of families that you'll see here is a lot of families with smaller children. And let me tell you, it, even with smaller children, it's still such a quiet community. And of course, you're going to see a mixture of different types of people too. There are of there are a lot of retirees that end up choosing Rancho Sahuarita and the reason why is because you have all the great amenities at a low price with the HOA and um, they don't have to be in a retired community. A lot of them don't like to be in a retired community. They feel like it's a little too quiet. Um, they still want to be surrounded by family. So this is the perfect spot even for retirees. So you'll see a good mixture of both. Now, a lot of the builders that you'll see here are builders like Lennar, KB Home, Richmond American, and they are expanding so much. So even though we are a town of 34,000 uh, grand total in all of Sahuarita, Sahuarita, Rancho Sahuarita in specific, is expanding so, so much. You'll see along the highway, a whole bunch of land that's getting built up for all of these new homes that are coming up in the market. So they just keep expanding and they're opening up new amenities. So we have some new neighborhoods on the other side of Rancho Sahuarita that are brand new. And we just heard um, from the locals here that they're about to open more amenities, more pools. So it's gonna get even better now. Here are some views of the neighborhoods here in Rancho Sahuarita. So you can see the different kind of homes that you can find here. Um, so enjoy and 
let's go ahead and take a look here before we go to the next neighborhood. All right, so neighborhood number two is gonna be Madera Highland. So this is still sitting in the Sahuarita area, but it's already getting closer to Green Valley. And the greatest part about this neighborhood is that HOA fees are a lot lower and property taxes, I've seen them as much as half of what you pay in Rancho Sahuarita. So this is a great option. You're gonna see a lot of families with kids here as well, as well as uh, retirees you're gonna always see a good mixture of both of these in the Sahuarita area. Now, this place is beautiful, so it has a beautiful community park, you have a pool, you have kids parks, you have a dog park, tennis court, basketball court, a lot of trails throughout the area that you can walk around in. It's absolutely gorgeous. You have a lot of neighborhoods in between in Madeira Highlands, where you have more height, where you have better views, you could be more ground level. Uh, so you have a lot of variation of pricing here. And you can see anything from the 270s all the way to a million dollars right in here. Now, you're right in front of a, a pecan farm, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's acres and acres throughout South Marita. And we have it right here in front of Madeira Highlands. You're not too far from a Safeway where you have um, CVS, you have a McDonald's, you have more food variety, ethnic foods, and all your needs five minutes away from here. And you'll see the drive here, all the pictures. It's during the winter time, so uh, there's no leaves on the trees right now, but during the spring and the summertime, it's absolutely lush and beautiful and green in this area. Now, you're gonna see a lot of uh, border patrol, a lot of military uh, families here that are gonna be in these neighborhoods. So it's a relatively safe neighborhood here. You're gonna see some of the homes and the different variations. The builders that we have here are Meritage Homes and Richmond American Homes. And they're still doing new phases of new builds here for Meritage Homes. They're about $500,000 at the moment with their new phase. So neighborhood number three is a hidden gem that I'm about to show you. And it's called Stone House, located here in San Juanita, Arizona. It has some breathtaking views of the Santa Rita Mountains. And as you can see here with the entrance alone, you already know what you're gonna expect when you drive up to this neighborhood. You're gonna see a lot of contemporary style homes and Southwestern style homes. So it's very different from the other neighborhoods here in Sahuarita that are more cookie cutter. You get variety here at Stonehouse. Now, my favorite part about Stonehouse is that it's adjacent to the 50,000 acres of the Coronado National Forest. So you're gonna get a lot of wildlife around the area that you get to see. You have some beautiful trails, open space. And the great part about it is that you're near some golf courses. So this is a great place for people to retire. You'll see families here as well, but it, it is a top place for retirement. Now, the HOA fee here is pretty low. It's about $70 a month as of today's date. And you got a low HOA fee beautiful acre lots and you have two options here when moving here so you can either purchase a lot and bring your own builder here or you can partner up with stone house and choose their preferred builder which is cornerstone homes and use them from beginning to end and it's a great team there at stone house so you won't be disappointed there it's a beautiful quiet neighborhood as you can see it's very tranquil and very safe as well and it is a private gated community thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions on Sahuarita or any other communities here in tucson feel free to reach out to me directly and i'll be happy to help thank you so much for watching this video click on the video to the left to see a new video suggested by me make sure to follow me on social media and subscribe to this channel which really supports me in creating more content like this one until next time